the top dog, I know these niggas all on my position. Cause I'm putting up numbers like a statistician. The king back like LeBron when he returned to Cleveland. Time to spread the bag around, make sure we all eat it. Hurt some niggas, think they got us, guess we all eat it. We're in the era now that a race is a very sensitive subject. We've got Donald Trump, he has incited a bunch of race wars and things of that nature and people think it's okay make america great again has came into an attack on black people well evidently this white man knows this because he thought i'm gonna rob a bank and blackface and no one will be none the wiser well the thing he forgot to do was cover his hands as well but we're going to watch this video and then we're going to talk about it on its face, the heist at the PNC Bank on Pulaski Highway in Perryville Tuesday afternoon appeared to be your standard fare as far as bank robberies go. He came in, handed her a note, handed the teller a note. Um, she gave him the money she had in the drawer. And at the time, Perryville Police Chief Alan W. Miller had no reason to doubt the teller's description of the robber. We interviewed the teller, and the teller... Uh, gave us a description of a black male, 5'7", 5'8", 180 pounds. But when police checked the bank's surveillance footage of the robbery, they realized while the suspect wasn't wearing a mask, it didn't mean he wasn't trying to conceal his face. They found out by looking at the glove area, between the glove area and the jacket, this was actually a white male we were looking for. So initially, the call out was for a black male. Um, it turned out to be a white male in a black face. Now it appears the same man behind what appeared to be a textbook crime getting in and out of the bank in about 15 seconds with a getaway driver waiting outside in a gray Ford Focus may have outfoxed himself. The picture of the black-faced robber is spreading like wildfire on social media and to news outlets around the globe. We're getting calls from all over. I mean, you know, to, to cover his face you know, the black face, and to not cover his hands, not a very smart character, you know. Um, but uh, it's not a matter of uh, if we're going to catch him, it's a matter of when. I mean, he's, he's by no means the smartest bank robber out there. In Perryville, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News. So if you were listening, you noticed that the man said they never questioned the appearance of this man, right? Because... It's assumed that black men, they're too aggressive, they're the problem, they're, they're thugs, they're gangsters, you know, so automatically nobody's questioning this. However, this man's going around posing for that very reason because he didn't think he would be questioned. The problem where he messed up was he didn't have enough sense to cover his hands up. And thank God, you know, thank God that he was that stupid to go ahead and expose this. But if we can't look at this and see that there's a problem, then I don't know what else to tell you. There's a literal sickness with people to believe that you could, you would have the audacity to paint your face black and think that you were going to get away with it and probably would have had you had not had the lack of sense and not covered up your hands. So I'm grateful that I, he needed to slip up and I hope someone catches him. If anybody knows him, please be brave enough to come forward and expose this fool because this is not what we need. We are at a time now where we need to be loving on one another, coming to a common ground, having peace on the planet. And we can't do that because there's always somebody with the foolery, you know, and I'm not one to really be with the race baiting and stuff like that, but we cannot deny what's obvious. I do think that in as much as we shouldn't harp on things and we should move forward, we have to acknowledge the facts. And evidently, this man thought that was cool. He thought he could get away with it because, of course, black men are thugs, right? And I'm going to get away with this. So y'all let me know what you think in the comments.